So this is Ingeborg Bo for Linksa project. What do you think? Is learning 2.0 supporting inclusive lifelong learning? Yes, I think so because the possibility of being linked up and using the uh, using the uh, um, connections that are available on uh, on Web 2.0 makes it um, possible for people who otherwise couldn't attend or, and be part of a, of a community to be part of that community and they can create community and and in that way uh, be included. Um, we are doing uh, experiments in LinksUp in the project um, and we are wondering do you think isolated experiments can be mainstreamed in this area? Well, that depends very much of the results and also of the experiments you make, but I'm sure there are always some things to learn from experiments. You have to start in a small scale and have a targeted uh, group and um, objectives for what you do, and when you analyze that, you will see if you can scale it up but not necessarily, but uh, some information from it, and sometimes you can scale it up too. Um, in learning 2.0 is a, actually a, quite a vast uh, term. It's a little bit difficult to see how, uh, what, what the impact is, the actual impact is in society. Um, so we are wondering whether Learning 2.0 can fundamentally change educational landscapes. What do you think about this? Um, if it can change um, learning educational landscapes fundamentally, it's um, a huge question and will take time. But what I, what I think is that it can, it, uh, to, a, to a large extent, can change the learning landscapes because it puts focus much more on on the students uh, and the learners uh, uh, situation uh, needs uh, it's more learner driven uh, possibility of uh, uh, involvement uh, of the learner uh, of any kind uh, more than in the traditional uh, educational system and uh, I think it has shown uh, the few years with that we've had it that it has uh, a great potential in, uh, in uh, revolutionizing really the educational system. We were talking about learners. We, in the project we talk about target users. So basically those who are the, the grandmothers dealing with learning new, the internet, with the with the with their grandchildren, um, in projects it seems to be sometimes difficult to reach the right target group. Um, learning 2.0 is an emerging term. Do you think? Um, can you think of examples of how to reach the right target groups in uh, inclusive setting for the society to change? Um. You're talking about target target groups, and when you talk about target groups, you talk about people with special, uh, well, ca that you can describe in special um, uh, features or whatever you, I don't know what the expression you would you use. And some of them are are already organized in different um, uh, organizations, study organizations. The uh, elderly people you talked about them, they go to to. Um, uh, centers for, for elderly people. Uh, I think um, one way of reaching to special target uh, groups with this new technology, which is uh, sometimes difficult, as you said, uh, it would be nice to, uh, a good idea to, to involve uh, different kinds of organizations that do not deal really with learning, but, but who, uh, uh, or these organizations, uh, have other activities for the target groups that you are reaching to. Thank you very much, Ingeborg. Okay, pleasure. <laughs>
in memory. 